When I tuned in today and I thought about what I was gonna cook, this recipe was just concrete. I knew I had to do it and it's gonna be like life changing. I'm not in a hurry for once today. So I'm gonna take my time to cook this meal. It's gonna be like fireworks in your mouth. Tonight we're gonna do spinach, mushroom, enchiladas with, you know, like, I can't say every ingredient because there's just too many to list. These enchiladas, I'm gonna make my own tomatillo salsa or I'm gonna roast the tomatillos and put them inside. I don't know yet. We're just gonna see how it goes, you know, how I do. I don't know what I'm gonna do until I actually do it, but it always turns out fire. So I'm gonna saute some of the ingredients first and then I'm gonna finish it in the toaster oven. I was debating on whether I was gonna use the conventional regular big oven or the toaster oven, but the toaster oven, I just cleaned, so that's another good thing. You don't have to wait for it to preheat. I have a few ingredients left over from Mexico, some tortillas. It's gonna be cheese, corn tortillas, spinach, mushrooms, sweet potatoes, onions, garlic. It's, uh, you'll see, you'll see. It's gonna be unbelievable. I can just taste it now. Oh. Uh, Let's do it so I can eat now, all right? Okay, so I'm gonna do one of the passport things. I'm gonna grab all the ingredients out of the refrigerator. I don't know what all I'm gonna throw in there, but you guys know if I have it in the fridge and it goes well with what I'm cooking, it's going in there. I don't have any beans ready or rice, which you know rice and beans and Mexican food go together really good. This is just gonna be straight up enchiladas and it's gonna be all time, I'm telling you, all time. Phew. Let's check out what we got in the fridge. The biggest avocado you've ever seen. Portobello mushroom, look at this guy. Monster. Cha. Some free cheese. Some delicious creamy garlic spread. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that, but it definitely has to go in there. Cabbage, we'll find a place for it. Red onions, necessity. Tofu, maybe, maybe not. I'm just getting into tofu, so we'll see how it goes. I might do like one with tofu, you know? It's all about experimenting. And then my enchilada protein level goes from here to here. So I'm gonna try one at least. So if you guys are not familiar with tomatillos, you better get plugged in. These little guys, they're like tomatoes, but better. You can make salsa just like, you know, tomatoes, you make salsa, but this is how most Mexican places make their green salsa. And I always like green salsa more than red salsa, and it's because of these little guys. I don't know if I'm gonna roast them and put them in the enchiladas, or blend them and make a salsa. We'll just see what happens, I guess. Got some serrano peppers. Let's check to see if they're spicy. Pretty mellow. Sweet potatoes and cauliflower in here. Got some fresh spinach today. I have an heirloom tomato. This might go in there, might not, but probably. Okay, I think these are the last two things. Got the corn tortillas, and then a little leftover salsa from the market, you know, some habanero stuff. Just gonna mix that in with, if I make the tomatillo salsa, it might go in there, might go on the top of the end. Let's just see what happens. So I just decided what to do with the tomatillos. I'm gonna make the enchilada sauce a tomatillo sauce. So it's gonna be everything inside the enchiladas, tomatillo sauce and the cheese and then maybe the garlic after that. So when you get these ideas, when you look at all the ingredients and your intuition says go with it, that's probably the thing that you should do. So if we were following a recipe, it says do step one, step two, step three. And what fun is that? You just wanna cook what feels right. And what feels right for me right now is making a roasted tomatillo enchilada sauce. There's 
numerous ways to cook, roast, saute tomatillos. Since I'm doing so many other things right now, I don't want to spend a lot of time on the tomatillos. I think I'm going to saute them, season them, add a couple other veggies, then blend them up in the blender, maybe put them back in the pan to warm them back up. So that's the new plan. Mushroom spinach enchiladas with a tomatillo garlic sauce and cheese. Woo. <laughs> All right, let's do it, guys. Look, not one preservative, not anything non-organic. Look at all this fresh food, and it's gonna be amazing enchiladas in like 30 minutes. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna go through the chopping a little faster than the past couple times because I think you guys are getting the knife skills down. And then if you uh, wanna know how to hold the knife or anything, just watch what I'm doing or refer back to the first couple episodes. Some cabbage right here. Big, beautiful shroom. Serrano peppers. These serrano peppers, we're gonna cut up a little finer just because I like my peppers minced. Save bowl space. Throw them in here with the cabbage. Look, they're kind of the same consistency so they can cook at the same time. Cabbage and serrano peppers, we're all friends. Wash off these amazing looking tomatillos. Gotta take the skin off first. Tomatillo skin is so interesting. I'm gonna look up later what's that, what that's all about. See if it has to do with the rightness or anything. I'll let you guys know. So since we're gonna blend these up, you don't have to be really careful about the stems, you know? We're gonna chop them up into, you know, quarters, eighths, whatever works for saute. And then we're gonna mash them up once they start getting hot. Look how cute that is. That's like a little tomatillo heart. Aw, oh, precious. Okay, we're gonna get these going. We're gonna put them on the low heat while we're doing everything else. That's a little olive oil. I'm gonna throw that on the low heat in the background while I finish chopping everything else. When it's on a low heat, you don't even have to look at it. That's just in the background. Intuitive cooking is all about timing, so when you put something on a low heat, you can just forget about it until you need it, and then if it's not done, you can just crank it up a little bit. Okay, so the sweet potato is the most dense ingredient we have in these enchiladas, and I'm not gonna use a lot of it. It's not one of the main flavor profiles in these enchiladas, so, I'm gonna slice it up small so it cooks about the same time as everything else. If these were like sweet potato enchiladas and I was trying to bring that flavor forward more than any other flavor, I might chop them a little bigger, I would use more of them, but it's just gonna be a little background flavor. So we're gonna dice these a little more fine than I usually do so they cook faster. We can throw them in at the same time as the cauliflower if they're chopped up this fine, okay? These are enchiladas so you can do whatever you want. It's 
probably enough cauliflower. My main flavor profiles in these enchiladas are mushroom, spinach. Those are the flavors I want to be at the forefront when you sink your teeth into these amazing enchiladas. So the background ingredients, they're there for health benefits, but if it's a background ingredient, you don't want to be tasting it right when you bite in. You're just gonna get the essence of the flavors. Chop up some onion, red onion, anytime you're cooking Mexican food, you wanna use a pretty good portion because it's like the salt of Mexican food. Just brings out so many flavors. I like leaving the pieces pretty big so the flavor is a little more in your face. We can throw that in with the cabbage and serrano peppers. Since that's all gonna be cooking at a similar time. Tomato, I don't know when I'm gonna throw that in, but might put it in with the salsa. Might keep it fresh and put it on top at the end. We'll just chop it up and we'll see what we're gonna do with it here in a little bit. We'll put it in its own bowl since it doesn't have a place yet. So this tofu, it's extra firm. Extra firm tofu has the highest amount of protein out of any tofus. The more firm, the more protein. So we're gonna only do one, maybe two enchiladas out of the six. So this should be good. Okay, so I just dampened the corn tortillas just the same way we did when we were making the tacos. Nobody wants brittle tacos or brittle enchiladas. It's the same way if you think about hydrating your body. It's gonna be better in every way possible. So let's check in on our tomatillos that are sauteing on a low heat. They've been going for about 10 minutes on low. So we're just gonna check to see how done they are, how squishy they are. So they're definitely done. They're not overdone. They're actually perfect. I'm gonna throw some salt, garlic salt, paprika, just any seasonings that are Mexican-esque. Definitely some garlic um, and some onions. And then we're gonna throw it in the blender and make a sauce. I knew I was gonna find a place for this stuff. Just gonna add a little water and mix that in. We have the tomatillos that are sauteed, roasted, purple onion, a little heirloom tomato, added some hot sauce. Time to season it. We're gonna put on our special blend of garlic powder mixed with Himalayan salt. Little pepper. Pick it up a little bit to get those onions and tomatoes a little cooked down before we blend it up. While I'm making this tomatillo enchilada sauce slash salsa for later, if there's anything left, I'm gonna start cooking the cauliflower and sweet potatoes in this other pan. It's all about timing. Olive oil or avocado oil or coconut oil. Avocado oil you can cook at the highest temperature. Coconut oil is amazing but when you cook with it, it just tends to spatter a lot. These, you wanna do a little dash of water like we did last time, just to speed up the process a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off because it looks like it's pretty much ready to blend up. I already added most of the spices. I might be done, but I'm gonna blend it up first. And then if it's not tasting perfect, then I might add some more salt or something else. Look at this though. Tomatillo, onion, tomato, seasoning. Oh, that's gonna be some fire salsa right there. We're gonna cover this guy and then once these veggies are 50 to 75% done, we're gonna throw the, the cabbage onion mix and then the mushrooms 
and then the spinach last. So we're gonna put the tomatillo concoction in a bowl so it can cool off a little bit before we throw it in the blender. You can throw it in the blender hot. I just like to cool it down a little bit so you don't burn yourself, you know what I'm saying? Wow, looking nice. I just tasted this and uh, it's pretty much the best thing I've ever tasted. Tomatillos. Tomatoes, mm. I was gonna add avocado to this, but I don't know anymore. Yeah, still gonna add avocado and garlic. The more the better. Mm. We're gonna get the tofu going. Cabbage, onion, serrano. Mushroom. A little more oil. Get this party going. All right, just mix it all up together. Try and keep the tofu a little separate, but everything else just can be one big happy family. This is all gonna shrink down. We're gonna salt this a little bit. Little hatch green chili powder. You know, you could throw anything you want to in here. I'm just doing this because it's what I have. If you have lemon pepper, go for it. Paprika, go for it. Just, you know, don't throw any ginger or anything like that. We're keeping it. We're keeping it south of the border today. Okay, so I've been sauteing this for like three minutes and because it's all diced up pretty fine it's going pretty it's going really fast look how much those mushrooms shrink you can barely see them remember i was talking about that same thing with the spinach look how much spinach <coughs> look how much spinach that is but in one minute after i cover it it's gonna cook down so much. So this has been like less than a minute later and look how much that spinach has already cooked down. All right, it looks like we can turn off the burner. Throw this stuff in a bowl so it can start cooling down because we're gonna toaster oven it. So it's gonna cook a little more. Tofu can go on top. Boom, delectable. We're gonna blend up the tomatillo mixture, which had tomatillos sauteed for low heat for 15 minutes-ish. Put some red onions in there, some heirloom tomatoes, some spices, and it's already amazing by itself. But we're just gonna throw some avocado and that delicious creamy garlic stuff in there, and it's just gonna make it next level. And it's all about next level. I'm gonna throw this in first. It's cooled down. I'm gonna throw some in the salsa, but we're also gonna slice some up and then put it on the enchiladas. Make it look pretty, tasty. Check it out.
feels like the pit's pretty big. Whoa! Biggest seed ever. We don't want to overpower the salsa with avocado, so probably just going to put a quarter. So this is half an avocado. We're going to do half of the half, which is a quarter. Mmm. It's like the tastiest avocado I think I've ever had. This is called a reed avocado. Oh my god, you you probably get Haas avocados normally. I'm lucky out here to get different variations like Haas, Fuerte, Reed, Pinkerton, but this one is insane. Delicious creamy garlic, raw vegan spread, organic fresh raw garlic, organic safflower oil. Gotta look that one up. Gotta look that one up. Organic cold milled flaxseed, nice. Organic sea salt, lemon juice, organically approved. Garlic is pretty powerful, so maybe a little more. Blend that up. Just gonna blitz it real fast to keep it a little chunky still. We're just gonna put this in the bowl and we're gonna start building our enchiladas and throw them in the toaster oven. It's gonna be done in like five, 10 minutes max. Ooh, a little sauce on this avocado. Yes, please. Mmm. I know it might have looked a little intimidating with all the ingredients before, but once everything's cooked down and we're about to build these enchiladas, look how easy it's gonna be. Delectable tomatillo enchilada sauce. That's that's all time. That's the best sauce I might have ever made. Got some homemade kombucha right there. Yeah. So let's preheat the toaster oven. I'm gonna put it on broil. You want it to go as fast as possible. I'm gonna line the tray with aluminum foil so we can just, you know, less cleaning the better. And then we're just gonna throw this inside this, cover it with this, and then after five minutes, throw this on that. And then once it's out, we're gonna cut up that and throw it on that. Look how simple this can be, you know? It took me quite a long time because I was moving around camera equipment in business the whole time. But if I were to cook this without having to deal with any of that, I probably could have finished it in 30, 45 minutes max, maybe an hour if I was taking my time. Since the tofu is on top, I'm gonna do the ones with tofu first. Put a couple pieces of that. This is all mixed together. Spinach, mushroom, awesomeness. Uh. Gonna roll that bad boy up. Throw it on here. One down. Look how fast this is. Tofu, tofu. Got four pieces, so this one's gonna be tofu heavy. Look at that beast. All right, so you can make these with flour tortillas as well, but I'm all about corn tortillas all the time. Pretty much all the time. So now we're gonna spread the amazing enchilada sauce on, which has organic tomatillos, red onions, heirloom tomatoes, garlic, awesomeness. Oh, 
Okay. Woo! Close call. That would have been devastating. So we're gonna throw these in. All the ingredients inside are already cooked. So we're just trying to brown these tortillas. So that's gonna take about two minutes and then we're gonna throw the cheese on and then after they come out, we'll throw the sliced avocado on top. Then we're in the game. All right, let's add the cheese. And if you're a vegan, don't add the cheese, okay? Normally never buy cheese at the grocery store, but they were gonna throw this away, and I'm also not about throwing food away when there's starving kids in Djibouti, Africa. Threw a little mango and paprika on there just to spruce things up a little bit, but I can't wait to eat this. It's gonna be amazing. And all organic and veggie. Oh my God. Yes, 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 yeah. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I cannot wait to tear into these enchiladas. All right, keep it fresh, family. And my favorite part of the show is diving in while it's still warm. Fresh out of the toaster oven. Let's see. Mmm. Mmm. Flavor explosion. Wow. 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 Peace, family.